Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, today's project is painting the grill and the splash guard or bumper apron, whatever it's called, blue. We're going to spray some base coat. Uh, if we have enough time, we'll get the clear on it, but it's getting a little late in the day, so we may just spray the clear tomorrow. But uh, that's today's project. What's your project? What do you guys been working on? I'd love for you guys to send me some uh, pictures of what you guys are doing. I'd love to post them at the end of the, every video so everybody can see all your cool ideas. So let's, uh, let's jump right to it. I've got some uh, color already mixed up. We'll get it in the gun. And I've already tacked and blown off, so let me back the camera off and get some of these things sprayed up. Okay, uh, to start off, I'm going to set the gun pattern at just uh, about two, two and a half inches so I can get up underneath here and around all these spots. I don't need a big fan uh, blowing paint everywhere, it's just wasting it. So we're going to keep it tight, get up in here and try to get everything covered really well. I'll grab the light and look up in there as I go. It may take multiple coats for me just, you know, messing around, squirting it in little spots and everything. And I got to let it flash off completely in between. The last thing you want to do is uh, keep trying to hit a spot and put a run in or something. With this base coat, it dries really quick, uh, but you still don't want to pile up paint in one spot. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to put some color up in there and try to focus on the hard to reach spots and then a little bit on the outside. And then we'll, once that's pretty well covered, then I'll get one good, nice, even coat over the whole thing. The, the splash apron, that's pretty straightforward. I'll swing you around so you guys can see that as well. But I'm going to keep the camera back and we're just going to bust this out real quick here. Okay, I got the back pretty good. Uh, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be blue. So uh, I'm gonna let that flash off and probably hit it again before I hit the front really well. So I'm gonna jump over to the uh, apron and we'll get that uh, base coat or one coat on that and then we'll let that flash off as well. Okay, the apron sprayed, it's uh, looking pretty good. We got one good wet coat on it. Um, I had a couple light spots that I went over and made sure it was all even. It doesn't matter if it's not covered all the way, it matters that you've got a nice even coat on, then your next subsequent coat. You don't want to leave blotchiness in there because it'll start to transmit through and then you start chasing it later and then you start getting tiger stripes or stripes in it. You'll probably seen cars on the road that look like that. So there, it's kind of a color modeling even though the film thickness is there, the color starts to run together because you're putting it on too thick in one spot. So uh, keep in mind on that, just nice even coats when you're putting your base coat down. Um, this is about flashed off, I'm gonna hit the back of it again and, uh, and then hopefully we'll get good enough coverage on there, we can start moving to the front.
Okay, I got, uh, I got underneath and the back sides really well. I think it's covered pretty good. I got the light up in there. Now, doing this kind of work, you're gonna use up a lot of paint because uh, you're painting you know, a bunch of little tiny parts, really, and you're having to spray a lot more than you normally would if it was just a flat sheet or a fender or something. So be prepared. It's gonna take a little bit more paint than you might think you need. But uh, you know, you kind of just have to keep spreading away till it's uh, everything's covered. Now I put the light up in there, and I think it looks pretty good. After all, it is just the underside and the backside, um, so we just need it blue. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, you know. And all the grill pieces are going to bolt up. So uh, well, I'm going to let this flash off because I sprayed out to the front here, and there's some spots that are a little bit heavier than others, and I want to flash off all the way before we start working on the front here. And uh, there's a few spots, but when I spray to the front, I think it's gonna take care of all the ones that I couldn't get from the back on these ribs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna let this flash off. I'm gonna check that uh, splash apron and see if it's ready to go, and then we'll get another coat on it. Okay, as you guys can see, it's really hard. The top one's easy. The other ones are hard because the one above it's shielding it. So uh, I've got the gun adjusted back down kind of tight and I'm gonna do my best to paint from this side, the back side and the front side to make sure we get good coverage on each one of these. So we're gonna let it flash off and I'm gonna hit it again. Okay, all done, the gun's clean. Splash guard there is looking really good. The grill, with all its different angles and stuff going on, I think I got it covered pretty good. I hope so. Used a lot of paint on this grill for something so small. I sure did eat up a lot of paint to get all those nooks and crannies. But it looks good. We're not gonna shoot clear today, we're gonna wait. It's going to late lighten the day and it was a really warm day so we've got some bugs flying around and I don't want to risk it. So I'll probably get out here first thing in the morning, mix up some clear, tack these off and get them cleared. Okay, it's the next day. It's in the morning. Hopefully there's no bugs flying around. They're still asleep. So I've got everything blown off, tacked off, blown off again, blew myself off. I got some clear mixed up. We're switching to the smaller gun. And so I can get these nice, laid down real nice. We won't have to worry about keeping a nice even pattern for uh, color distribution. So I can go to the smaller gun and just concentrate on getting two good, really nice coats of clear on these. So let me, uh, let me get the respirator on and let's get these things sprayed.
Okay, so we got everything covered. I kind of double coated this because I had some dry spray from painting the backside. So I have to spray a little bit underneath and I'm going to put one good wet coat back over the top here. And that's it for the grill, just two coats. I'll get three on the uh, splash guard and then these other small pieces will just get two coats real quick. So we're going to let that flash off a little bit. I'm going to reload the gun and then, uh, then we'll hit it again and we'll call it a day. Okay, we're, uh, we're ready for this, the second coat on this. I'm just going to be concentrating on the face, none of the back or the braces or anything. They got enough clear on them already. So we're going to get this real well. I identified a couple of dry spots and I already put a little bit on there. And now we're just going to try to get even coverage on all the faces. It's important not to blindly just spray so you got to look and watch what you're doing and then look back when you're done to see if there's any trouble areas you need to touch up a little bit that's looking really good right there I'm looking really good it's really hard to get that spray back in on the back side but I think I got it all it looks nice all right let's do that splash guard Okay, all done. Gun is clean. The air is starting to clear. You guys can see along there. Grill's looking really nice. Got one little nubbin down inside there. I'm going to have to polish out, but no big deal. Clean that up real nice. Everything's nice and glossy. I don't see any runs or any other issues. Got the brackets and everything are nice and shiny. Most of this all gets covered up by trim and bolted all together, but you know, it looks good right now. So I'm pretty happy about how that looks. Splash guard, bumper apron, whatever, over here. Looks really nice. See the lights in it right there. So it came out great. Got a little couple of nubbins in there as well. We're gonna polish that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then we had a couple of small pieces over here at the license plate, uh, frame and uh, a couple other small pieces I wanted to get done. So that is just about it. We've only been at this uh, less than an hour this morning, so it was a good call. Wait until today. Okay, that just about wraps up this quick video on getting some color and clear on the grill and the bumper apron and add a few small parts here that I wanted to bust out while I had some material in the gun. What project are you guys working on? Come on, send me those pics. I'd love to post them at the end of every video so everybody else can see what, what you guys are up to. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint Fabrication. If you haven't subscribed already, I really appreciate it if you consider doing so. I'm up over 500 already, and uh, I think I'm doing pretty well. I hope you guys are getting something from the videos. If you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up and mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.